Good Tuesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Cold air is banked up against the Brooks Range, and some of that's sliding into the northern parts of the Yukon Territory. A lot of that will stay out of Alaska, but the boundary that lingers across the Alcan border will be the focus for cooler weather and clouds as we go through. In fact, acting more like a dam, keeping some of the colder air out of the interior, but uh, making a good opportunity for rainfall to form in the coming days across the interior of the west coast and parts of southwest. High pressure right now is in charge, and that general flow of the air coming up out of the Pacific over the Bering and into the mainland will continue as we go into the midweek. In the meantime, a weak area of low pressure sitting across uh, the outer coast of southern South east about 1,012 millibars and that's pushing some clouds across the Dixon entrance. You may see some showers because of that but by and large most of southeast is going to stay dry it looks like as we go through the remainder of the week. In fact so dry that once again places like Cake, Petersburg, Wrangell and Yakutat could be looking at another opportunity of frost. For those of you wondering uh, why isn't more parts of southeast under a frost advisory? Well chances are you've already had your killing frost including areas around Juneau and some of the northern uh, regions of southeast so uh, you've already already had yours. Many areas across uh, the northern panhandle and uh, central and southern parts of southeast will continue to be under frost advisories until you've had your killing frost. For Wednesday afternoon, uh, periods of showers and light rainfall is expected across most of the Yukon Valley as well as the Kuskokwim Valley. The Tananaw Valley there should see some light rain showers there, not expecting another return of that dense fog you had earlier this morning. Across the Bering Sea, the line of rainfall will probably uh, become a little more slender in time from St. Matthew to St. Paul and St. George and just to the west and southwest, expecting that flow of moisture to thin out a little bit more as we get into your Wednesday. Winds will be a little bit sharp at times across the central chain, but that too should gradually improve for your region and push eastward. So from Adak to Atka to Nikolsky and on Alaska Dutch Harbor through Thursday, winds will be picking up from the west and southwest. And then once the front passes from the west, conditions should improve. Across the interior, showers are expected to continue. Most of that seems to stay out of south central, continuing a very long stretch of dry weather that we've had for most of the month. Showers will continue across the west coast as well as Norton Sound, and fog is expected across the Chukchi Coast and the Beaufort Sea as high pressure remains anchored just north of Point Barrow. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is meteorologist.